a lot of times I will have people do neurological retraining where they're, they're taking their nervous system through a path of exercises that are designed to make changes in the nervous system itself. And you know, when I, when I tell people that I'm gonna have them do eye exercises, they look at me like I'm crazy, and understandably so. I mean, that's something that, that sounds kind of ridiculous, but the eyes are such a powerful force in our body. The eyes connect to, to most areas of the brain. So if we know what's not communicating with other areas as well as it should be, we can give that area exercises to help boost its ability to communicate. And with that, you're gonna experience better health. So, um, you know, we have people do eye exercises and that is going to be something that is like exercise. We start you off and we have, um, you know, some stability exercises that we start with. Once we have that stability attained, then we can start into some strengthening exercises. And the strengthening exercises start out small, and from there we build and add more activation and more activation. And you know, it's something that we want to just make sure that people can handle it. Uh, how frequently do we have these? How people go through these? We start out doing them in the office, and we send them home and have them do them there uh, as well. And it may be something as simple as looking at a spot and shaking your head no. It may be as simple as looking at a spot and shaking your head yes. Uh, it may be following a different pattern of, of movement on a screen. Um, you know, there are a lot of different things that we go through, and it is all targeted to uh, whatever the patient's you know, functional capacity is at that time. So that's really what we're doing with the eye exercises is we're not waiting until something completely breaks. Uh, you know, we're doing that home maintenance instead of waiting until the roof just caves in and it, it shows great results. You know, when we're looking at those neurological exercises, it, it's great for headaches. It is great for um, people with any kind of balance issues. Um, obviously, we have to build up into that on, the, on those patients. They can be a little bit more finicky in, in some of those things, so it's not something we necessarily want to start with right away. Um, people with, with blood pressure issues, it can be very beneficial for. So it's, it's pretty vast, and it's not necessarily, you know, people looking at, hey, I have a tremor, what can you do for that? Um, yes, it can help in those situations, but um, you know there are certain situations it's not going to help too. So it's really looking at the patient and figuring out what is going to be the best and what is going to be the most bang for their buck.